Hi everyone and thanks for joining. I wanted to motivate you and let you know in the first place that we changed our rule of the SAP community fan badge going forward. So up to now, and I hope every one of you already has the SAP community fan badge in his or her profile under the reputation section for being active five days in a row in the SAP community. So it's all about getting that streak once a month. Well, it was up to now, once a year. So we just uploaded it on an annual basis. Going forward though, we will upload it on a monthly basis and we created different um, badges for each month of, until the end of the year, plus going forward. But what is the SAP Community Fan Badge about? Um, it is really about showing your commitment to the SAP community. Uh, whenever you publish content, like blog posts, like questions, like answers, like comments, if you like such content or upvote on questions and answers, but also if you follow content and community members, and if you update information in your SAP community profile. Such activities get counted into the five-day streak, and every beginning of the following month, I will upload you the badge to your profile. Um, check out more information around that in A, our homepage, because the badge is currently featured on our homepage in the featured mission tile, but also on the resources section, missions and badges page, filter for the just for fun category. And I wish you a lot of fun with receiving the SAP Community Fan Badge for June. Thank you. This month's SAP Community Spotlight is UI development, and we cover popular front-end frameworks of the SAP world, such as SAP UR5, SAP Fiori, Web Components, and more. So what can you expect this month? There is an SAP Community Code Challenge running around testing UI5 apps with WDI5, and Nikolai wrote a blog post and gives all the details around the challenge. We also have a dedicated discussion thread for you in which you can share your experience with the challenge, let us know which apps you are building and ask any questions if technical or non-technical and just leave us your comments. But to kick it off and maybe dive a little bit deeper into the topic of UI development in general, I recommend you read through the blog post from Michelle who gives more insights into web components and front-end frameworks. And additionally, if you're interested in ramping up your knowledge, we have two tutorials for you in which you can learn how to develop your first SAP UR5 web app on Cloud Foundry and how you can create a UI using Freestyle SAP UR5. So as you can see, there's a lot out there in the SAP community this month all around UI development for you to explore. So make sure you check it out and have fun developing. Hey everyone, it's both a privilege and an achievement to become an SAP champion or an SAP mentor. Our Spotlight interview series gives us the opportunity to share with you who these people are and why they go above and beyond to participate. Let me introduce you to Ruth Fick Chowdhury. He's an SAP champion, also with SAP Process Automation Influencers team. A recent Spotlight interview with Rudvig sheds a light on what inspires him, how he became an SAP champion and many of his online and offline activities. Rudvig is passionate about robotics and machines. He even set up his own YouTube channel with a huge following now over the last two years. That's inspiring, right? I encourage you to read the Spotlight interview from my colleague Anne Petro in her blog post and get to know Ruth Fick and what inspires him and what his focus is. Maybe you too could become an SAP champion. Each step and building block leads to the next opportunity. Thank you.